girls do it well Live fast, die young Bad girls do it well Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Jam Out of Tech. And today I'm gonna diagnose this fog lamp circuit. I drew this, guys. <laughs> Thumbs up for a good drawing. <laughs> yeah, this is my van. 1989. This is a 22 hour engine. So we're gonna use the power probe new tool I just got alright guys now this is the diagram as you can see this is the battery then power comes down here we have a fuse here the fog lamp switch is under the dash then we have the relay um, refer back to my other video about how the relay works so we're gonna have the power from the switch that comes here to the relay and then here we're gonna have the power feed from the battery again. Power feed. When this relay is on, power feed that goes to the to the fog lamps. These are the fog lamps, guys. Alright, let's begin. So first thing we're gonna do, connect up the power probe. So what I'm talking about guys, the screen is huge man. Shows the battery voltage. Sends power. Sends grounds. Um, I'm gonna do a test right here and show you how this thing can really really be a time saver. Here we have a fog lamp right here. I just wanna show you how you can use the power probe for to test a load very quickly here we have the two wires one one's ground let's say this one is ground and this one is the power right we all this works you connect this to the ground Voila. That's connected. Now we'll put this here. See? It's a, you do a quick test on a load. So when you do that, you'll know if the load is good very easy with the power probe for okay guys now we're inside the vehicle and we're going to test the circuit that's inside in my vehicle the fog lamp is in here and the fuse is inside but let me just get it work with the component that is closer to you so in the case of my vehicle the fog lamp is easy the fog lamp switch is right here so it's easily accessible so I can test if I have power here that shows that the integrity of the whole of this circuit is okay. So I just by testing here would tell me if the fuse is okay, if the whole wire is okay. Okay, so it all depends. If this relay is easier to get to, you can come here and test. If you get power here when the switch is closed, that shows that the integrity of the whole circuit back here is okay. So choose what is easier for you. In my case, my fog lamp switch is right here, so I'm going to start here. So, using the diagram, I see that one wire is going to be a, it's not going to have voltage. The next wire is going to have positive voltage. Right? So, I'll be testing which wire has the positive voltage. So, let's try this one first. Okay. That's not positive, so let's try here. Right, so we got positive there. So that shows that this this circuit is fine. Okay, the circuit is fine. So let's test the switch and ensure that the switch is working 
this is the prong that is supposed to send voltage out to the fog lamps. So let's start there. So that shows that the switch is good. So we just test the whole of the circuit shows test okay. So let's move on. Outside, we're gonna look at the relay. Right there. Yeah, so we wanna look at that relay. So we're supposed to have right now I lock I turn the switch off. I'm gonna turn it down back. We're supposed to have power here, right? Suppose I have power at this wire and looking at here it looks like this wire here is it because this wire goes inside so we're going to ensure that power is on this wire. We're going to start. Here's that wire I'm talking about. Okay. Let's start. I'm going to test if power is on this wire. So I got power coming in, right? This ground wire here that you see on the top, that is the ground, so we're gonna make sure that's good. We got full ground. So uh, we're good there, right? We're gonna have to look for the wire. We'll have power that's supposed to come in. Right here power from the battery so let's check it my power actually comes from here here comes into here and I actually put in a fuse just in case and then it goes back into the relay so we're gonna test we can test it here first then we can test it here at the fuse ensure the fuse is alright So far so good guys. Then we're gonna look at the wire now. This wire that leaves and goes out to the to the fog lamps. So we're gonna test it here and show that we have voltage on it. We got voltage guys. So that means our frag lamp supposed to be on. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's basically how you test it. You could test it from the wires behind here as well. We have a power on the ground. You can test it from around here as well. So it's not hard, guys. Now let's say you wanted to test the integrity of the whole circuit using the power probe for let me show you how you could do that to eliminate be extra careful when you're doing this guys when you say you want to test the integrity right you didn't want to go through all of that and you wanted to use the power probe for to test the integrity of the circuit you can use the power probe you can come here apply power here and see if the lights come on if the lights come on, that means something is wrong here. You could come here, apply power by the probe. And when you use the probe, apply power here. If the lights come on, something is wrong here. So there is various ways you could do this. So let's try that. Here I'm on the wire that comes from the switch. Apply current. Hold on. So I'm applying current now. The light should be on, as you can see. So that shows that everything, everything back here, everything from here through the relay back to the 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 fog lamps are alright. Now let's do it from here. And the part of the relay that goes to the one eighty seven. 
the product goes to the fog lamp apply current here and the light should be on so that's how you do it guys easy ways to test out the circuit guys it's not hard I soon show you guys how to wire a circuit like this because I did this myself thank you thank you guys for following the channel peace and subscribe when I'm back from the radio change when I'm back in